Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop, and today we're going to wire up the Comet milling machine. Now I removed the switch I was on it, it was junk. It was, the switch was real wobbly, I took it apart and all the springs and stuff were broke. So we're going to put in a drum switch. We'll mount it to the original location. So that'll be fine. So I think I got all my pieces. And we'll get to it. Shouldn't be much. Why well, I have it here? I purchased a new to the shop air compressor, which I'll be wiring as well. But let's focus on this guy. Let me go get the wire and stuff, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so they're zooming out just a skosh. So they're outgoing power, incoming power. Got our ends on. This switch is a uh, up and down or left and right. So let me see this. My black wires. Terminal. What would be terminal five and six on this always go straight across. So run those straight down there. My grounds are going to go to the two mounting screws. Put the other black wire. Straight across from it. Sorry, my arm's in the way there. Okay, and then my incoming other two power wires will be opposite each other diagonally. That way they can never see each other. Because when the switch is switched one way, power goes up and down. When it's the other way, it goes sideways across this specific switch. So if you put one hot wire there, the other one there, they can never see each other because they're either going that way or that way. So I'll get those hooked up. And again, the ground, we're just gonna go to the mounting screws. And we'll get this on the machine. Then all we need to do is run our pigtail, run this side up to the uh, motor itself, and we can uh, see what happens. I'll bring you back. Okay. We got it all wired up. It's our drum switch. It's going back there. The phase converter is running. So, let's uh, flip the switch and see what happens. Like I said, I've had no luck buying these milling machines. Now I'm just going to bump it because I do need to still tighten that bolt on the uh, variable speed, but I need it to catch into the groove. So, let's, uh, let's see what happens. And nothing. So that is not encouraging. Okay. It turns out if you don't have the breaker turned on, then, you know, power can't get to this. So uh, let's try this again. Again, just going to bump it. It is turning. Or the other way. There we go. OK. 
Okay, now I'm going to turn it. See, we're in. We're in high range at 500. I'm going to gently slowly turn it up. It is increasing. Very cool. Now try it on low speed here. A moth just flew out of it. It's not one to go on low. Let's try it in reverse real quick here. There we go. Actually, it's backwards from the switch, of course. So it is running. It's ramping up a little fast, which means I need to tighten that uh, bolt. But yeah, it is running. So let me uh, mess with that a bit, and I will bring you back. Okay, it was running. I mean, it is running. After some adjustments, the speed thing doesn't seem quite right. It's almost like it's working backwards. So I need to pop that top. But the most important thing is, the motor works. Now this motor will bolt directly on the Acer head if need be. But uh, yeah, very cool. Motor's running, runs both ways. Take a cover, peek off there. It just seems like the, this was opposite. So something might just be off in there. No problem, the belt was off. Everything in here is, you know, tensioned. So we'll take a look at that. But very, very encouraging. Very good day. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.